Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. Uh, I'm here with the miserable liberal Steph Zamorano and Ron Placone. Hi, Ron. Hello. I'm miserable. Hi. I'm doing the show without my glasses. It's a wow. Big day. It's a big day. <laughs> oh, I got them right here. Whoa. I really can't see anything. Oh. So, you know that guy, Jordan B. B. Peterson? Uh-huh. Is that his name? Jordan? Uh, yeah, Jordan B. Peterson from Canada, eh? And, uh, you know, Canadians are nice, eh? They're polite. I like them. And um, I've only, I don't really know much about this guy, Jordan B. Peterson. I know he got upset when they passed a quasi-law to make him say transgendered instead of whatever he didn't want to say. He had to refer to... So that's how he got famous, right? About the, it was a transgender thing, right? I think so. I've never watched anything by him, but Me based neither. on what I've seen online, if I do watch anything by him, I'm sure I'm not going to get what he meant. That's I'm, what everybody said. Like, no, you're misinterpreting it. It's and I'm that, like, oh, okay, yeah, that Sam Harris thing. You're not, you, you, yes. You don't know where you're not. You, you, no, oh. no, you're mis. You're taking it out of context. And mm-hmm. It's like, okay, well, I've never watched anything by this guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I've I've seen him on the Joe Rogans, just a little snippets here and there, and uh, he seems like a sincere, earnest fellow. I did see him uh, a little bit of him with that Michael Eric Dyson, who's not one of my favorite people. Michael Eric Dyson debating and uh you know michael eric dyson i think is just a neoliberal so he wasn't my favorite guy to uh so jordan p peterson though i have seen kyle kalinsky secular talk has done videos about him and uh he's like a real he's overly religious Mm -hmm. he's one of those guys thinks that oh there wouldn't be art if there wasn't religion that kind of thing like Mm. dude and uh you know and he said some so he's doing this so he tw- so you know with the um well what's the Prager University we all know that that's mm-hmm. that's just right garbage thing, right yeah. that's called pseudoscience that's not actual science that's they take scientific words and mix them around to trick you <laughs> <laughs> they don't actually try to inform you. They 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 do videos and use sciencey words to make you think climate change isn't real. <laughs> well, here's one of them. So Jordan Jordan B. Peterson tweeted out something for the anti-capitalist environmentalist to hate. Oh, they love doing that. They love triggering people. <laughs> oh, I bet you're triggered. Are you triggered? I triggered you, didn't I? Are you triggered yet? You seem triggered. Are you triggered? I'm triggering you, aren't you? So this, that's what this is. <laughs> and so he tweets that out. And Do you hate it? I'm indifferent. Yeah. No, I think you hate it. Uh, Still feeling a little indifferent. Uh, uh, you hate it. All right. You're upset. <laughs> You're upset. It's hard to hate somebody with a blue check. It is. <clears throat> But I do it. Climate change, what do scientists say? Climate change is an urgent topic of discussion among politicians, journalists, and and then Prager University does a, a misleading video <laughs> where they actually make you dumber after you've watched it. That's how that's Prager Prager U is like the anti university. After you're done watching one of their courses, you know less about the subject. I don't know how they do that, but they do it. So for instance, he tweets out this video, and inside this video, so this guy Peter Norway broke it down. He watched the video, and he's going to explain to you uh, just a few of the BS things in it. He says, Jordan Peterson sharing a really lazy, easily debunked climate change denial video from Prager University while mocking environmentalists. Peterson is just another anti-science right-winger, and if you believed otherwise, you've been fooled. I know he is overly religious, and him tweeting out Prager University climate change videos means he's anti-science. So this guy is what we would call, in regular, uh, normal, everyday language, he would be called an anti-intellectual. Yeah. He's an anti-intellectual. So um, <laughs> you can't tweet out Prager U University videos and be anything <laughs> but an anti-intellect. Literally, they are trying to fool you and and misinform you about everything. Imagine if you were citing a Prager U video <laughs> on like an academic paper <laughs> where you like give the YouTube yeah. link and they're like, oh, okay, is this video what you're c- citing? And it's like, no, 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 the commercial before the video <laughs> is what I'm citing because <laughs> that's the Prager U <laughs> thing. <laughs> More honesty in the commercials on that channel. 
How about that? So he says, this Prager University video uses all the standard climate change denial tricks. I'll show a couple of them. Like here, they show a graph of a 10-year period where it looks like the temperature isn't changing much. The next two screenshots illustrate how that trick works. So you see, right? So I don't know if you can see that. But it's like, oh, look, from, um, from 1997 to 2016... Look, it just it all stays right around the same. It goes up, it goes down, but it's right around the same. So climate change isn't going crazy. That's how they do it, right? And so this shows you how this is how skeptics view global uh, warming, right? So he's taking a piece like this, but skeptics look at the bigger picture, right? So you can see how this has been going up every couple of decades. Well, for instance, Look at that red. So that's what you look at. You don't look. So you, you look at from 1970 to 2012. That's the trajectory of global warming. It's not. It's 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 not this. Right. So this is what they do. They go, oh, we'll take it from a, t a 10 year slice from 1997 to 2016. Oh, that's a 20 year slice. And look, look, climate change. Just look, it's Nothing. Nothing. So that's that's the disingenuous part. But if you're This is how realists view global warming. This is how skeptics view it. They take it tw at 10 and 20 year increments. So you could say, "Look, it's not going." But if you're a realist, you see the trajectory of global warming. Here's another one. He goes, here he tries to downplay the increase of carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere by pointing out it's been increasing for a long time and presenting it as just a natural cycle. Look at a graph going further back and you can easily see the current increase is unprecedented. So here's what he tweets out. And it, this is a graph that starts at 1800. And it's, here's 2000. And it looks like, oh, look, it's been rising forever. What are you talking about? It's just, it's always been rising, carbon dioxide. But if you go back a couple hundred thousand years, <laughs> you go back to 800,000 years ago, the Ice Age, and then here we are now. It never went over 300 parts per million. Now we're over 400 parts per million, which they say is catastrophic. Do you see that? This is what we're talking about. So that's another one. And then he concludes, he says, pretty much every sentence in the video is bullshit, but I don't want to spend more time debunking it. I'll end this thread with this paragraph from Newsweek's interview where Peterson's climate change scientist denies the link between cigarette smoking and lung cancer. <laughs> You think I'm kidding? So the scientist that Peterson's tweeting out who did this beautiful climate change work said, uh, Lindzen clearly relishes the role of naysayer. He'll even expound on how weekly lung cancer is linked to cigarette smoking. <laughs> he speaks in full, impeccably logical paragraphs, and he punctuates his measured cadences with thoughtful drags on a cigarette. That's, now that's some gangsta shit. <laughs> you're sitting there denying, you're a scientist sitting there denying the link between cancer and cigarettes as you're smoking. That's some pretty badass shit. Tom Cruise will pay, play you in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's some pretty badass shit. Uh, anyway, uh, but it's not science. <laughs> it's anti-science. And so that's the, so... I, I always, you know, that's my, I always had my feeling, my gut feeling about Jordan Peterson was that. And then I saw a few articles that are a few segments and videos that Kyle Kalinske did on him. And it's always the same kind of thing. It's always like this guy's a pseudo scientist. He's not real. And he's an anti-intellectual and he's overly religious. And, uh, you know, he's one of those incel guys. Is he really? Yeah, yeah. He's one of those. <laughs> wow. He believes in forced monogamy and all that stuff. Whoa. Okay. Jeesh. <clears throat> That's a good way of putting it. Yeesh. Yeah. Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, and now, now, now a bunch of, everybody's going to talk just about that in the comments. You're they're triggered. Gonna, <laughs> they're, they're, it's a, he's <laughs> not in cell. He's, he's married. <laughs> they're gonna, that's all they're going to talk about. Talk about this, this uh, bullshit climate change thing, please. That's, that's what this video is about. 
I'm disappointed he never tweeted back to the guy like, oh, you sound triggered. <laughs> <laughs> You're an anti-capitalist environmentalist. He did. Turn, uh, I, I checked his last time I checked. Maybe he's Jordan Peterson has responded to those devastating takedown by that guy. I don't think he has responded. <laughs> I mean, th- do you ever get tired of being taken in by these right wing con artists? <laughs> Do you ever get tired of being taken in by guys like Sam Harris, who do, whose next book is called Mental Gymnastics uh, for War? Mm-hmm. I think that's his next book. Yep. With big words with to big, help. Big words and spoken softly, <laughs> how we can justify killing people with, <laughs> in a poor country with no army. Um, boy, he is a war hawk, that Sam Harris. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he speaks softly, but he always has the creepiest of creepy looks on his face. He certainly does. Like, like he looks like, like he looks like, yeah, I made this coffee, and like, oh, I know this is poison just by the look on your face. If you want to see him get shredded, watch him uh, quasi debate uh, Chris Hedges and um, no, I'm blanking on the other gentleman's name, but they did debate. And, you know, Chris Hedges has actually been in the Middle East. He actually learned the language. He actually. Uh, 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 was a war correspondent for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. He actually is a Pulitzer Prize winner. He knows something about the region. Mm-hmm. So he was able to be like, look, Sam Harris, yeah. a drone strike and yeah. a fender bender aren't the same thing, <laughs> you psychopath. Yes. You know, I just want to add that I think everybody here probably has a family member or a friend or somebody in their life that has been a science denier that says... Pfft, climate change yes it's hot like this all the time you know we've got rain there's no climate change and so like when i'm reading these posts that you were showing it i'm just thinking to myself aren't these people beyond just being misguided aren't they also representing the will of corporations because well, corporations are the one that are creating this this awfulness in our climates right so aren't they just tools of corporates of corporations um, yes, I would. I would agree. I would say so. I would say certainly. So, what's the end game for somebody like this with lazy thinking? Like, do, does he really believe Jordan Peterson? Yes. Does he really believe that climate change does is a hoax? Yes. Does he really? Do why you would think- you? Well, why would you tweet that out? Why else would you tweet that out? I, I wouldn't tweet that out. Uh, unironically, I wouldn't try to trigger someone with fake science. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get out of that? You tell me. Anyway, so um, there you go. Uh, I don't, you know, there's like these are considered the int. So Jordan Peterson's considered like the intellect of that new dark web or whatever. What did they call it in the? Anyway, not not <laughs> he doesn't seem to be that deep of a thinker, and that's coming from a guy who's not either. Takes one to know one. But I certainly know the difference between science and bullshit. (laughs) Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are, you're probably not. It only takes a second to check. And then you have to ring that bell so they send you a notification when we drop a new video. Otherwise, they won't tell you when we drop new videos. And if you like our show, please help support it. Become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material Every week, and we give a live stream. We do a live stream every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time when you could ask us questions and we answer them back. Thanks for your support.